Hey, everybody. All right, yeah, I'm wearing this hoodie again, but you know what? I like it. It's kind of a coat, and it's a 2X. <laughs> I haven't worn anything under a 4X or a 5X in years. So I'm rocking it. I like it. I don't care how long it's. I'm going to wear it until it walks itself to the laundry. How's that? <laughs> well, anyway, we're having ham tonight. I'm doing it keto style. I'm using my uh, Swerve Brown Sugar Substitute. And uh, kind of weird. I didn't, you know, I haven't really been drinking diet soda or anything, but it called for a diet Coke. I guess it's for the uh, uh, the stuff that they have in it. So uh, who am I to argue? I'm just going to eat the ham anyway. So I went and poured that in. It's uh, brown sugar, and, uh, the brown sugar substitute, a whole cup of it. And uh, I did two cups of the um, Coca-Cola Zero on top of a, a pre-cooked ham that was already done. Uh, you know, the ones you can find everywhere. Um, so I put that in my Instapot, and that's what's going to be for dinner. I'm going to have a salad to go with it. Uh, I'm probably just going to cut up the ham and put it on top of the salad and call it good. Um, we'll see what happens later. I'm still working on the video for that, so I'll have that up. Meanwhile, I have to do Fat Burner, and it wants me to go over the Diamond Dozen again, I guess. Uh, I, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm actually supposed to make the diamond dozen thing a workout you know i mean it's just him going over the moves so i'll do it but i'd rather do something else but i'll do it this once and if it's on there again i'm just gonna swap it out for something the same length a little bit harder though all right so but we're gonna do it today because you know i'm kind of feeling lazy so <laughs> i'm gonna do fat burner 2.0 and then i'll do the diamond dozen and uh yeah, I guess if that's me being lazy, then uh, I'm just going to keep on being lazy because I'm doing it every day. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. No, and I'll have that video up. Um, it'll definitely be on Team DDPY, and it'll definitely be up on YouTube because I'm kind of doing a review of keto recipes. Um, I'll throw it up on Facebook if, you know, the admins don't like it. They can just take it down. I'm cool or, you know, whatever. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, it is the 18th of February, 2021, and I feel like having ham. I'm doing the keto diet, everything's low carb, so I found a keto recipe for a, uh, a sugar-coated ham, so I figured I'd share that with you guys. Anyway, I went and made sure I got a ham. It's a, I think it's a six-pound ham. I forgot to look and see how much it is. We're going to put fat cap on the top. We're going to put that right in the Instapot. Don't use, don't bother using the, the trivet to pull it out because it won't fit. I mean, if you got a small one, I suppose you could use it, but otherwise, it's a real simple recipe. Two cups of Diet Coke or zero. Any kind of no sugar added Coca-Cola because you're looking for the, the molasses and all that stuff that they have in here, the molasses substitute, whatever they use to make it zero. And we've got the uh, Swerve Brown Sugar. Uh, the recipe that I used, the people, uh, the recipe that I'm following, the people used um, Sucre and Gold. Uh, I just happen to have this. I do like Sucre and Gold too, but I think they both taste about the same. Um, so, it was a simple recipe. All it called for was the Coke. So give your ham a Coke bath with the Coke Zero. And don't worry, I'm not going to have this. My grandson who's doing the filming already volunteered his taste buds for that Coke Zero. <laughs> All right, and then the Sucre, or the uh, Sucre and Gold or Swerve Brown Sugar Substitute, just put it there. I want to put it all on my ham. It's going to melt anyway, so I'm not really all that worried about it. And let me wash my hand off real quick and we'll put the lid on. Washing the hands tonight. Alright, sorry about that. Dry my hand. Put the lid on. Put the lid on. Make sure that this is not going to. Always remember if you're using this, you're going to have to release the steam. So don't have your steam facing a light. So I have to put my vent. Right there, make sure it's closed on sealing. We're going to come on over here to pressure cook. Oh. And we're going to bring the time down 
all the way down to 15 minutes because it's a pre-cooked ham. I did not look up the time to see if it, uh, how long it would be if it was not pre-cooked. But for the pre-cooked hams that you find everywhere, 15 minutes on high pressure. And now we just let it go, make sure it's sealed on sealing, and we'll leave it. It's going to have about, it's going to take about 15 minutes for it to build up pressure. So you've got about a half an hour of time. Um, it says you can do the quick release after. I am going to let it do a slow release uh, just because I, I want to time mine more towards my meal, more towards 8 o'clock when I'm closer to being done. All right. More later. All right, guys, it is done. I let it go uh, about 20 minutes after because I was making a salad to go with it. Uh, let's come on over here and take a look at that. That is our ham. That is what's for dinner. Now, I also told you I'm doing the keto diet. We're going with a spinach, iceberg lettuce, some cucumber, and of course a big fat beef steak tomato that I found. Got that all cut up for the salad for the side. And uh, the kids the kids will probably have a starch, but I'm not making it because I'm not eating it, so they can make their own starch. Good thing I taught them how to make rice, huh? <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's pull out the uh, ham and see what it looks like. Pause real quick. All right, sorry about that. Had to pause to get it out. But anyway, this is our cooked ham. Let's go ahead and find the bone. Sorry, my uh, platter's been sitting on top of the fridge. I had to pause the video to wash it. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and cut into this. I love my Instapot. Did you hit pause? Nothing to me. Alright, and then a little bit of our juice. Go ahead and bring it over here. Alright, let's try a taste. Keto ham, guys!
Get too much for dinner.